Hey all Russ here RV TV, welcome, check it out. I'm heading down to Quartzite. Hang on, let me get the sun's just coming up, look at it. I wasn't even gonna film today. But we gotta check this out. Look at it. Sun's coming up. Lake Havasu near Parker Dam. Isn't this gorgeous? Look how flat the water is. There's no wind. So we gotta check this out from the air too. I don't know why this is one of my favorite stops. We're along this busy highway. They got some road crews or something. Red Mountains, but look at the sunrise. Well, let me set the compass in the drone. We're going to launch. We've got to see this from the air. Today is Tuesday morning. Early. All right. Let's check it out. Up we go. That is one big road grader there, isn't it? Look at that thing. Those are expensive. But look at the view. Goodness. I believe that up there is called Havasu Springs. That island there with all the mobile homes. Way off is Parker Dam. You can see the power towers, power line towers. That's over there where the dam is. Colorado River. But early morning sun hitting it. Look at the colors pop. Look at the color of the water against the red mountains. There is your Kodak moment right there. I'll have to post pictures of this. Straight down that peninsula there, that's uh, the Bill Williams, uh, I think they call it a wildlife refuge, wildlife area. And off that direction goes the Bill Williams River. There's the pumping plant. Pumps water clear down to Phoenix, right over those mountains there. Yeah, I had no intentions of filming. I was going to fast track it down and get my mail. <laughs> but just so happened I had cameras with me. What a pretty, pretty morning. Enjoy, enjoy. This by far is one of my favorite stops of all times. Been stopping along through here for years. All right, let's get landed. We might as well make a little video here. <laughs> we go let's run up here well might, might as well let's go up to the dam go up take off point there is zero wind right now yeah just doing a quick fast track down the quartzite. I'm not really going to film the town down there. Maybe we'll check out BLM land when I'm down there. I don't know. 
Still pretty hot yet. There is a cooling trend coming into the desert. Yay! Supposed to start dropping the temperatures down in normal range would be the high 80s, low 90s. Sounds hot, but for here, that's cooling off. See those islands right off there? That's uh, mobile homes, timeshare, there's an RV park, mini golf course, all kinds of stuff over there. That's called Havasu Springs. I've never stayed out there because of the timeshare thing. But you can actually get a couple free nights of RV uh, stay if you go through their like, seminars or whatever. I was just never into it. There's a restaurant in there I did eat at. It was really good food. There's apartments and I think even a motel. Not real sure. All right, we're going to drop straight down into the community of Parker Dam. But let's go check out the dam itself. There's a little, uh, it's Arizona State, it's a uh, recreation area, it's called Takeoff Point, and you can actually overlook the dam, walk right up to the edge. I've filmed it a few times. Matter of fact, coming over here just brings back so many memories. For years I've always used this as like a little Shangri-La getaway especially for photography. This is a photographer's dream up in here. Right at the edge of Arizona, California state line. The river is actually the state line, middle of the river. Straight across our left, that's uh, California. See those uh, power line towers? That's what we've seen from the air back down that scenic outlook. And there's the dam. There's Parker Dam that creates Lake Havasu. Built in the 30s. Tons of history. This whole region here. All right, now you make a right right here. We don't, we're not going to cross the dam. We're not going to California. It's called Takeoff Point. We're going to go up top of the little hill here. And then, uh, actually, I'll, I'll walk up, get a picture of the dam. Then we'll head on south. This looks good. This little parking area. If you keep going, the dead ends down into a boat ramp, fishing area, and uh, you can actually tent camp down through there. See the sun's just coming up. Not even down on the water yet. Feels good right now in the shade. It's still a little bit cool, but as soon as you get in the sun, it sure heats up. Still a little warm yet. 
But I'll bring a chair up here and a tripod and just sit here for hours. And you can catch wildlife. There's the dam. Check it out. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And you watch the cars go across it. There's some birds flying. You know, it's just a pretty, pretty place. What's really amazing the amount of traffic that goes across that thing. It's one of the few crossings uh, going over to California. The only other bridges are clear up at uh, I-40 or down in Parker. But no trucks. You can't take no trucks or RVs across this one. It's okay. All right, well, let's do this. We'll make this a full video. Uh, I'll film myself going down to Parker. We haven't done that in quite a while. Now that I'm back, I'm starting to plan out. I got the ATV, the Dusty Nugget, pretty much ready to go. The trailer, just kind of waiting for the weather to cool off slightly. And we're going to start doing some uh, overnighters. Going to haul the buggy around. Van's all serviced. you seen that when I went up to uh, Henderson. Van is doing good. All right. Well. Let's head on into Parker. It's a long Parker Dam. They sure fish around this. Now the Colorado River goes all the way down through Parker, all the way down through Arizona, into Mexico. And it keeps getting smaller as it goes down there. More and more people tap water out of it. Yuma's on the list to venture around this winter too. That parking area right up there, you can park and actually go over and talk to one of the guards. They hand out pamphlets about the dam. There's no more visitors, uh, tours or anything like that, but they got pamphlets that they'll give you. Gives you all kinds of info about the dam. Get back on the highway here. There's a little community called Parker Dam. It's spread out. A lot of park models, condos, mobile homes. A lot of riverfront. Ooh, there goes a the big rig. Big old motor home. Truthfully, I haven't seen, should be seeing a lot more this year at this time heading south, but haven't seen them. But you can see all those condos there on the right, gas station. There ain't much for stores here. A couple of restaurants. So if you're going to do any shopping, you'd either go back to Havasu or uh, down into Parker. Here to the right, yeah, right there, that driveway, that takes you down into like a little RV park. They got mobile homes and RVs down in there. We're just going to wind right along the river here.
not as smoky and hazy. Check it out. We got blue sky. Yay. Hopefully those fires over there in California are dying down. And poor people have really gotten it. Right up here it continues. This is still considered Parker Dam. And all the mobile homes you see over there to the right, that's across the river. That's actually California. There's the mighty Colorado River. And this is the last little section here of Parker Dam on the Arizona side. There's a little motel right here off to the left. Always see cars there. A few little businesses, shops, a lot of boat shops. Then right up here on the left, there's like a little uh, RV park. I think they own their own lots. I think that's a deeded lot right there on the left. Probably uh, some of them are for rent too. State Park there on the right. There's a few uh, rigs in there. They got 14 day limits in their state parks. They're absolutely beautiful. Full hookups, boat la uh, launches, and ramps, and picnic areas. Truthfully, I've never stayed in that. I've, now, I did stay right here on the right, was it Castle Rock? Right there. Quite a few years ago, there's a little gas station, Mini Mart here on the left with the rooster on the roof. <laughs> right up the road the sign uh, Buckskin Mountain State Park. I filmed that a couple times. Not going to do it today. And then they got this pedestrian bridge up here. You can actually hike trails back in the hills and the mountains a little bit. It goes back here quite a ways. This bridge right here, that's a pedestrian bridge that goes out of Buckskin uh, Mountain uh, State Park. Right off to the right, there's that little road. I've flown the drone there before. All right, well, let's get on into Parker. We'll do a drive through town there and head on down to the big Q. sudden all this traffic disappeared <laughs> this door early I mean it's not even quite low after seven I guess what have we got 710 blue water casino I've heard so many different things they're working on the sign it says we're open but what I was told you need to google it and check it online that the RV park is not open, just the casino itself. Because the Crit Colorado River Indian Tribe Nation here, they still got heavy restrictions due to the pandemic going. And 
here we go Parker Arizona that's running man fuel on the left well we got nice 212 for diesel I'm getting diesel on the way back here here's one of the busiest Walmarts in the winter time Parker Walmart it's a small one it's not very big and it is packed but you can stay you can actually camp overnight in their parking lot they don't kick you out yuck donald's there on the left <laughs> and we're driving through the big town of parker This is a year-round town, uh, definitely a boater town with all the river and water here. Decent sized little town. It's also the county seat for La Paz County. Where you get all your county permits and licenses and all that. There's a sign, quartzite. I'm only gonna be down here about two, three hours. Check mail. Maybe we'll go by and check out the game store. Visit old Kim Scott there at Tyson, see what's happening. I think they opened uh, the first uh, October here. we go now one block off to the right is the downtown area of uh, Parker all kinds of little shops there's a Ford car dealer up here in the right then a little farther out of town is a Chevy dealer car dealer there's some used car guys around on the left there's a little train depot now this museum on the right I don't know if it still opens up or not in that building right there maybe and this big Napa actually this is where they uh, the starting line for the Parker 425 at uh, end of January every year is a huge off-road race ESPN televises it they got helicopters and TV cameras if you've never been to it or like that kind of racing check it out sponsored by uh, Blue Water Casino and some of the local businesses. I think Lucas Oil does too. They're a big sponsor. Well, what a neat morning. I wasn't planning on filming, but I couldn't resist that uh, view we had back there of Havasu Springs, the dam and the lake and everything. So I hope you enjoyed it. As always, the journey's going to continue. It never stops. Talk soon.